Hello and welcome back to Dover. This time we're in the 1987 Legends, however, and uh, should be a bit of a different experience. Um, we are doing some qualifying. Do I have them muted? No. Uh, we're doing some qualifying. I've put my brake bias all the way back to get some turn in this thing. Uh, we've got Matthias in here. Said good luck to him. Of course, we've raced him plenty of times in league settings, but uh, this is some official racing here. And um, hopefully we'll get ourselves a good qualifying spot. I'm thinking uh, tire saving should be pretty important, as it usually is in the Legends car. And uh, this first lap is going to be very important because green flag, green flag. this car is okay. fastest on the first lap, so we'll see what we can do here. Lots of grip out here. I think I maybe kept it a little bit too low. One more lap. Uh, we'll see how that plays. That should be a best for me. And uh, we won't have as much grip here on the second lap, unfortunately. Close, but you'll see as we get to the exit, not quite as much speed exiting the corner. Lose a whole tenth, and uh, we're not going to be able to keep up with that. So, hopefully, that point six, the low point six, sh should uh, stick for a good qualifying position. That puts you I think I'm happy with that. I probably well. could have been a little bit higher up and then gotten a better angle on the exit and gotten a better run through the corner, but uh, that'll work. And uh, we're definitely going to want to practice a pit in here. Dover a very difficult pit road to get onto, and uh, in this car especially, so that'll do it though. Got to be really careful with that brake bias back especially, it gets really unsettled, but I do want it to be back there, and uh, I've been able to get it done successfully each time I've done it so, so far, so hopefully if uh, we have to pit during the race, same story, you can see car wanting to slide around right there when I'm trying to brake. All the way down to 35, and a very tight pit in, and uh, hopefully no one's going to run in the back of us. We, of course, would be telegraphing plenty ahead of time when we're going to be heading into the pit. So it's looking like we're going to have to wait the full two minutes with somebody that's not actually here. Uh, it is a single split, 17 cars signed up here in the middle of the day on Saturday, so I'm going to go ahead and let you go and come back when it's time to grid up. All right, we are back, and it looks like our time stuck on the pole, so that's good news. Hoping we don't get run over or anything out here. Gonna double check. Well, first time running a race in these NASCAR Legends. You got any advice? Uh, runner up. Keep looks, it sounds the new, I guess, to the NASCAR Legend. Hold on, hold on, Titan, pray. Bro, you qualify P two. Give me advice. <laughs> yeah, he qualified P2s. I was right pretty decent. I got tired of some of the cluster, you know what, that the uh, modern cup cars have been at Vegas. I want to see if these things can be a little bit more gentlemanly. So we're going to be trying to take it easy and keep the tires happy. 88 laps of fuel tires. in this thing should be enough to get us to the end. Don't drive it like you're at Vegas. Don't drive this like Talladega yeah, sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, <laughs> not going to quite work if you try to flat foot it. Makes me a little nervous anytime you hear somebody uh, is new to the car or something. Car or track. Uh, just because, especially with this car, it's going to be easy to overdrive it. Break, break bias alone. We'll start with. So I'm hoping he's ready for uh, me not to be flying into the corner if he enters the corner behind me. Interesting, I haven't even looked the back just a little bit. Let's start with Alright, right, we'll get rolling here and I mean, see what, uh... Maybe 2% down by the end of the race. That's about it. Gear we want to be in. Stay behind the pace One left to green. 
Line up on the oh yeah, side. technically a mile here, closed. so we will only have uh, one to green. With the high banking here, it always feels like this place is shorter than it is, but... Now uh, you're just flying around this place. So 2% towards the back. Yeah, 10 yeah. I appreciate it. I think we're going to do second gear. Just run this way so I can get my Just to avoid having to shift an extra time. We'll see if that's a mistake. It might... We might want to do first gear, but we'll see. Get ready, going green. Start of 90 laps here. Ready. Get underway house. soon. Go, go, green go. flag, green flag. And uh big mess happening Captain back there. The right. They were not ready to go, I guess. What happened? I'm not gonna waste my tires because I'm already two seconds ahead. That guy was sleeping, man. <laughs> Runner up. I don't know if they were all doing first gear. Maybe second gear is the play. That was a bizarre start. Yeah, I missed a shift. Sorry about that. Yeah, ah, uh, that makes sense. The guy that's new to the car missing a shift. Yeah, that'll happen. I can't even run the, uh, what is it, like the auto anti-stall or whatever. I can't get that to work in this car, so I just run the, uh, whatever other thing. Even though it loses me time. The auto clutch, I guess, is what it is. I'll, uh, take the speed loss on shifting to avoid any catastrophic missed shifts, because you can see how big that is. So the force catching up to us, that's fine. I'm trying to go a long run here. In case we do end up going a long run. I actually noticed in my uh, practicing, the right rear got much worse than the right front. So I think I might want to actually enter a little bit harder and then just be gentle on the exits. Was at 25.5. You're now in the lead. Try not to slide this thing too much through uh, late center and exit of the corner, because that's what's going to get that rear tire unhappy, and it's going to be very loose eventually. So, just going to have to watch out for that. We'll let the 4 by when he gets here. I assume he will get here. It definitely wants to pull to the left a whole lot. I'm hoping that'll stay the case and it won't get tight. If it does get tight, I'll change my approach later. But right now, I think uh, it's all about just not putting too much throttle through the center. Entering pretty good, but using the brake bias to make sure we hold the bottom line. We'll see where that takes us. So we got the four catching up to us, but still two seconds behind for P3, so. Things are looking okay to me. I think the four could potentially fall off before he gets here, too. It already looks like his pace to catch us is slowing down. I think he did potentially go a little too fast too early. But we'll see here. That's a... Uh, really great jump we had off the start definitely affords us the ability to take it easier here Almost feels kind of like a diamond line that I'm doing, where I'm driving in pretty hard on the low side, but 
not really trying to push up the track at all. Just enough to where it starts putting some weight on that right front to try to even it out. But I want to be near the bottom of the track so I can use the throttle to get it to rotate in the second half of the corner. And I'm hoping that'll lead to some pretty even tire wear. Point six behind. I'm hoping this goes green. That would be fantastic. I feel like I'm in a really good spot right now. I can feel it wanting to get on that rear tire, though, on the exits of the corners. I'm glad I practiced a bit of a long run in practice to realize how much it was going to get on the rear tire. So I'm not sure if I would have expected that otherwise. Usually when I'm in this car, I'm expecting it to uh, get very, very tight. He's 0.5 behind us, but uh, the gap is growing to third. Almost three seconds now. Hopefully, uh, Matthias is okay. I saw. Oh, there's the yellow. Speaking of, he's okay. <laughs> Pit road is closed. Catch the pace car. Pace car All right. Closed. Pace car is out. Line up pace too car early pace car. for tires. Catch the pace car. Yeah, sorry about that story, but I was behind. I just flat missed the shift. He didn't use this transmission. Pit road is now open. It's open. Glitch. Auto blip in this car is, is the way to go. Yep, that's what I was talking about before. How about you guys be real men and use paddle shifters? Page banner. Alright, so... Looks like other guys are agreeing it's too early for tires. You only got two of them. Two extra sets. I don't feel like I hurt my tires at all on that start. Second gear seemed to work great, so I'm just going to keep doing that instead of trying to get too technical with a first gear jump. Tyus in sixth. I'm not sure exactly what that start looked like, but there was definitely some major checkups. Automatic is the wise choice, isn't it? No, I know why they call you the turbo slug. Would have loved that to go green, but that's all right. A little bit much to expect, single split, and a very tough race car to drive. Especially one that gets looser over time if you're not careful. So that could have easily been predicted. No fuel needed this whole race. Even if we went green, I think we were fine. So uh, we will go one to green here at the line and single file restart and hopefully get ourselves a good jump again I don't know if we can get quite the jump we got on the initial start but uh, single file will help I think couple of Why cars going out of pits after We're fixing some damage time. presumably well, I was wondering if we do single file restarts in this We'll kind of protect there the high side. Dogs, though, so. I think we have to do that. My cat is meowing. What is up? What's up, dude? What's the problem? No way around. <laughs> He's going crazy. I don't know what his deal is. Now he's rolling on the floor. I don't. He's just damaged. I think. <laughs> well, let's. Uh, hopefully, we can keep our car from being damaged. Get uh, a nice start here. See how things are going. Got a little bit of space behind us right now to P2. About to go green. Stay focused. Pace car is off. Green, 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 green. All right, got that done. Okay with that start. My bad, I was sleeping. Still tire saving time in case we get the long run. 
I think our tires are probably in pretty good shape. I mean, the car is driving just fine, so I'm happy. <laughs> now my cat is tapping me on the shoulder while I'm driving. He does this thing where he like gets on his hind feet, puts his front paw on the arm of my chair, and then taps me with his other paw to try to get my attention. I can't help you right now, buddy. I'm a little bit busy. He probably just wants attention because I know he's got food and water. Your lap time was at 25.6. Alright, make sure I'm hitting my marks, not overdriving. We've got some laps on the tires now, so I gotta not treat it like it's a uh, fresh tire restart. Our tires are looking like. If I had to guess, probably still in the right rear a little bit. Even if I am trying to get it evened out with the right front a little bit more. It's definitely wanting to slide around on exit, so. Probably want to take it a little bit higher through the corner so I can get a better angle through the corner. Not sure where the rest of the field is running, so I can't really make any assumptions based on uh, track temperature. Presumably everyone's running bottom and middle, so probably not too much difference. Unless you were going to run the high line or something, which, on fresh tires, maybe. <laughs> maybe later in the race. Not exactly by the wall, but maybe running up higher, up higher entry and then getting a real big run out of the corner. Could have something to it, especially if I'm trying to defend. Not too unlike uh, the Gen 4 race I just did here. That allowed me to uh, get the win there holding that higher line as sort of a defensive line. And we got about point four back to the guy behind us. Time was this middle line I'm pretty happy with. Still trying to be easy with the exit. Really not turning the steering wheel much at all on entry, just letting the brake do the turning for me. Similar with the exit as well. Lots of banking here, so you can use the pedals a lot to do your turning. Point four behind us, 1.5 to third. So we are pulling away from third on back, it looks like, and another yellow. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed. Alright. Now do we take tires? We might have to. Thanks, man. Oh, Matthias must have got caught in something. That sucks. Yeah, I see him on the relative. Pit road is now open. Can only imagine. It's what right. might have happened there? Maybe got run into from behind. That happens a lot in these cars when people enter too hard. So we'll take tires and fuel, I guess. Do we need to? Our guy's gonna do it? Yeah, we gotta do it. Watch your speed. Pit lane speed limit is 35 miles per hour. Okay. I couldn't risk uh, being the only one staying out. I think it's about time. That's a thousand percent my fault. I was picking up the gas and I just I just miss, missed it. Oh, the new guy sounds like Five. more Three, issues. Two, These cars are tough, man. One. Even if you have a lot of experience right in other cars, it's like a whole different thing. Ninety-three, ninety-one. I like that set of numbers. Thought about two tires, but it's still early enough in the race. I think I want to take all four here. 
If people uh, end up in front of us because of that, that's okay. If they take two. Looks like not too many takers, though. That's it, go! You only have one tire oh, yeah. remaining. They want you in single file. Catch the eight car. Alright. That stinks. Yep, I forgot pit speed was only 35. Atta boy. I've already done that this week. Well, isn't that just special? Everybody needs to go by me. Keep going. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Alright, we'll get caught up. Yep, party's tied. Remember that green car is. Come on, let's go. We got one guy staying out. Fair enough. We'll fly past him, but he could uh, end up putting that extra set of tires to use later. Just uh, hope he knows that uh, how much faster we're going to be. Fresh tires in this car make such a humongous difference. And it can be tough to pass here, too. There's part of the there's parts of the track you don't really want to be too wide if you can avoid it, like the exit of the two here. So it could get dangerous. Hopefully, guys are smart about how they get try to get around them. Now that I have you all right where I want you, Matthias uh, sounds like he got killed in it. From what he said, we'll see exactly what happened later. But I think the five called it on himself already. I'm guessing by the fact that five is out here, he probably ran into the back of him, it's dumped right. him in the corner. But that's just a guess, based on what you see a lot of with this car and with this combo specifically. I don't think this guy's gonna have too much trouble with like tire spin on the restart, unless he goes like first gear and does something crazy. I don't know. What I'm kind of worried about is uh, when we get to the corner, how much slower he's going to get, and if we like catch him on the exit of two or something, I've really got to be prepared to get around him. Yeah, there goes Matthias. That stinks, man. Good racing with you, though. Always, uh, It's always much more fun to recognize somebody when you enter a race, see him on the roster. And uh, most of the time it's because I rec recognize them from the league and I know that those are going to be good guys to race against. So it's always a good sign. But uh, unfortunately it sounds like he got uh, taken out in this one. We will get a good jump here. What uh, What's up with that gap up there? Some sort of gap, apparently. Still rocking second gear. Gap, sorry. Get ready, going green. The pace car is off, be ready. Green, green, flag, green flag. We get a pretty good start. Just when we catch him out of turn two. Is. That's all right. We'll back it down. There, hold hold the bottom. Our extra grip Outside should help us get around easily, and we'll make the pass. All right. Hopefully he doesn't try something like. You're in first. Well, looked like he overdrove it a little bit. Scared me a little bit. I was hoping he wasn't gonna try to dive it in or something crazy. You never know. You never know what guys are gonna do. We might have to let the four go here. We know he's more eager to drive fast on these uh, starts. And there's still a lot of race left to go. So if he wants to get through, I'm just going to let him do it. My guess on the tires was correct, where we were just a little bit more on the right rear, despite my efforts to enter a little harder. So I think uh, the approach I was taking was a good one try to put some weight on the right front to balance it out. You've just done a 25.1. I 
I'm driving a little bit too hard. I'm Safe. entering a little harder than I think I need to. So I'm going to be a little more careful here. Nice save. Safe. Safe. Just gonna try to be smooth on the inputs here. Four is catching again. As I try to take a gentle pace. Who knows if he even wants to get around. He might uh, be willing to ride. We'll see what his intentions are when he gets to our bumper. Not gonna be fighting side by side though, that's for sure. Cause that's just gonna slow us both down. Uh, hurt me when it comes to my tire saving. It's not going to be nearly as effective trying to tire save if I can't run the line I want to run. So that would definitely be a back off situation. And then hope that I uh, can save tires better. See some smoke there. Presumably the 15. Might have had some issues. One point five back to third, so still pretty good there with that gap. The four has been the one giving us the most pressure. That was a twenty five point nine. He's right behind us. Is he wanting to make a move? See more smoke again. That's making me scared. Maybe that was just residual. You've just done a 26.0. He kind of reached our bumper, but then it looks like he's backed off a little bit, so either doesn't quite have the pace to make a pass, or he is just running our pace. It's fine. I think we're in a really good spot here. Over two seconds back to third running position. Somebody heading into the pits, that's that 15. Who might have been the one having trouble causing some smoke screens. It's catching a lot on the exit. Maybe he's more willing to drive it on that right rear. And uh, maybe it's worth it, I don't know. It's definitely giving him some more speed on exit. I'm just worried about losing the handle later. We're not even halfway through this thing, so definitely worth it to be patient, I think. Still feels pretty good. Getting a little tighter, especially on exits. 
but nothing unusual from how this thing normally evolves to a run. Might eventually have to move to that kind of middle higher line. And in fact, I might do that now. Let's see how that feels. It does open up that bottom lane though, which makes me a little nervous. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go back to the bottom. You've just done a twenty-six point. I don't know if I like opening the door for him like that. If he wants to pass, he has to find his way around. I don't want to just roll out the red carpet necessarily. We might have an opportunity when we reach the fifteen here, though. Out on track after doing a pit stop. Exited a little low there. Had a bad angle. Alright Colton, halfway home. We've got plenty of fuel. Definitely putting the pressure on us. Out of the rear view mirror. We're halfway in the race. I'll be more patient with my throttle, I think. 15's driving away. He's got fresher tires, I think, so... Don't know if we'll have to worry about him after all. That was a 26.6. Feels like it's maybe getting a little loose because of them running behind us. I know these cars like to do that. When you got a car right under the spoiler, it'll uh, get the car loose. I don't know if that's just normal loose out of the corner here or if uh, that's actually making an effect, but he is pretty close to our bumper. I'm doing my best to ignore that and uh, hit, my, hit my marks, regardless of what he's doing. If I look too, uh, too much in the mirror, I could end up overdriving, which I do not want to do. Going half back to third still. They're not catching. Despite our contention for the lead. Well, we have more lap traffic coming up before too long. I do see some blue names on the relative. Uh, yeah, I see them up there. So we will have to deal with that. Hopefully they'll just uh, be consistent, that's all I can really ask for. Be predictable, you know, all that good stuff. Hey Barrett, did you see if I bent anything on your way by? I didn't see anything. But He's still back there, though. Not bending you up at all. He's there with the pressure. Doesn't look like well, he's falling off that. at all. You know, it's really freaking still lots of time left. However, hopefully, I'm not the one that's going to end up falling off. Got a little bit of apron there. Not a great corner. This one marks just a bit. Hi here, it's good. Actually goes middle. Clear high. It really give us much room to drift up, which hurts our corner. That's okay. Get by it safely, that's what matters.
making a move. Not quite. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Looks like he was maybe looking to set up a run there. Kind of looking at this middle line again, but still worried about him. Getting to our inside. Your last lap time was at 26.7. Really getting that run out of the corner is so crucial, and it gets harder and harder to do because you got to slow the car down more and more as the run goes on and the car gets tight. That lap time was 26.7. He's really just hanging right on our bumper. I get that run. Problem. Still get a caution. Still a possibility. He gets a run on us. Looks like he did a higher entry there. Wasn't really able to do anything with it though. He might be attempting to see what uh, he can do. might have better tires than me, I'll be honest. It's hard to tell. You might. Your lap time was 26.7. Alright, does he have better tires? That's what we find out next. He does, I think. He's looking pretty fast. Man, he just did a better job, I guess, of saving. I was definitely tighter than I expected. I thought I was going to get more loose on the exits, so maybe I should have been pushing harder on the right rear. I'd say. One and a half back to the two car. Almost slid up into the wall. Trying to use that right rear a little bit more to loosen this thing up a little bit. Lap traffic coming up. And they're racing, I think. No, they're not. That's 11th and 14th up there, so they're not on the same lap. So presumably they shouldn't be side by side and should let the leader by easily, but we'll see. 
Your lap times are improving. This is exactly what we need. And yeah, no the space to the leader for some reason. Clear outside. You whiz, man. Holding them tight. Instead of just backing off. Now we gotta just get by them. Outside. Kills our run out of the exit. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. B2. Why is he holding us so tight? Keep low. Why are you wasting my time? The guy behind is still there. What are you doing? Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside. Right, he wastes both of our time hanging on my outside like that. So thanks a lot, buddy. The gap that makes no sense. The head is increasing. It's now 1.5 seconds. The the yellow flag and the yellow flag. Single file. Closed. Pit road is closed. All right. Down to caution. Car. It's closed. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car number zero four. I'm gonna have like a dope. Okay. <laughs> Fighting me like. I was the one that he needed to fight for the lucky dog. The pit road is now open. It's yellow. It's our open. Whoa, dude! All right, nearly runs into me. And you're never safe on iRacing, racing, man. I'm gonna take four. Half bar 15, car, half bar 6, car. Watch your speed limit in the pits. You've got loads of fuel. The leader, Thompson, is pitting. Old Sater said we're going to be the final one to pit here, so we'll stay on his outside. Should we get into our box? Pit box in. Car got tight, so let's put some fuel in it. Five. Three. Two, one, right here. 7376, so we were on the right front this time. wonder if it's track conditions changing that could affect that as well. Glad we're taking left sides as well, because 7989 is looking kind of ugly on the left side too. Probably would be okay for like a green flag stop, but not going to do it. Go, go, go! Time. Not gonna do it for uh, they want you in single caution here. So we come out third. I don't know if that was a two tire call for the five, maybe? Catch that five, car. Or if he just had a really good stop. I feel like I didn't make any mistakes, so maybe it was a two tire call. Pits are open. It's probably going to be just fine. Thirteen is going to be put to the inside as a lap car. No wave arounds in this series. Hopefully he knows that. He's going to be pretty disappointed. We might have to go here. We might have to get the lead and then try to worry about tires. I don't want to kill him immediately, but a string of cautions here and this thing could end, or end under caution easily. I don't think you get green-white checkers in this series, so we might want that track position. But if everybody else is thinking the same thing, I'm not sure what to expect. We'll see what short run speed guys have. So that's a whole different thing. Full course yellow. Pits are open. 
And hopefully we'll be able to see the leader pretty well too. 8177. So he was on the right rear. 84, 83. I guess we just needed to go on the right rear and uh, expect it to get tighter regardless. And then it would even out on its own. So that's probably what I'm learning here. You guys measure from the, uh, the middle, right? Yeah, always middle. Yep. Another lap car on the inside. Hopefully we'll get a good view of the leader as he goes. It can be tough with single file restarts like this. There's a third car on the inside, alright. We're gonna have to be careful. Heading into turn one, hopefully no one overdrives it. I don't think you have control for eight, so don't jump for thirteen, so don't jump for start. Right, off. Green flag. Green flag. And it's just a shift in front of us. P three. Car outside. Outside, clear. Inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Clear. Really slow on the start there for the five. Oh, he's the guy that's new, isn't he? <laughs> he's still learning how to get those shifts down. You're that makes sense. Caution. And there's that caution I expected. Alright, this is why we need track position. Did you see that? It's closed. Hey, what was that? Why did you just try to come back down the track? You're you're mean. My buddy's being a big stinky meanie, it sounds like. I held my bridge great. I'm sorry. You're good, bro. Catch that four car. Sorry for the tap from behind on the restart there, Five. Pete Road is now open. It's open. All good. I gotta get this damn auto bullet thing turned back off for these cars. Sorry. I forgot to pull my brake balance back uh, for. Yeah, I hear you. It's a pain getting these things to shift sometimes. All right. As I figured, it sounds like he had already. It's really not so bad if you get used to it, but in a road race, man, it's super easy to forget and you miss or at least I miss gears all the time. Can't say I've ever had that issue. I'd be floating all the time, but not not gears. I can't do it, man. I try it. I've tried to learn it. If you don't have auto blip and you shift too fast, it'll pop out of gear, right? Yeah, right, should hopefully be able to get a better yeah, jump this time. Well, I want the I want the lead though. I mean, we've got fewer and fewer laps going here, and we lose them every time we get uh, cautions. So I, I want the track position now, and not later. I mean, assuming this is two to go. I'm losing clutch. I think I'm just letting it wind up a little too much. I don't think I can wind this thing out like I can the next we'll gen car. Pits are open. Oh yeah, you can. Just gotta add like a half second of pause between shifts. I got ahead of myself. My fault, fellas. All right, two to green. All right. So are we going for a 10 lap shootout or what, what's going on here? Yeah, it looks like it'll be 10 laps to go as we go green. It would appear so, I guess. It's go time. Come 
my brake bias where I want it, yes. Track is tighter though now, so I've got to be ready for that. Stefan, you're looking a little toothless, buddy. I'm sorry. I <laughs> your front end is missing altogether. Okay. Alright, hopefully they keep it together back there and we can fight this out to the end. I can count the fins in your radiator. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's are open. Hopefully the five is able to get in gear. Doesn't have anyone like me ready to run them over. I can tell where you were cheating with those. I was thankfully able to get off the gas and slow it down before I really got him. These cars will get scooped up off the ground though if you hit them from behind. Kind of like the Arca car, not quite as bad, but it does I happen. Got to go. No, I got. I just hit okay, the wall. Colton, this sucks. Red Arca in the Gen Four body. body. All right. Is that the excuse you're going with? I, I wish I was lying. This is going to be big, big down, moments. Down, fighter, down. Like if his car says turbo slug, but if it has that's the right, shell, then it's a snail, right? One. <laughs> I mean, the, the little picture's got, you know, the tire. It's a cool design. Or is that a tire? That's like a turbo. But, like, if it has a shell, it's, it's a snail. Am I nitpicking here? I don't know. <laughs> well, that just, guy's gone. Just, just, just wondering. Just thinking out loud. Anyway. On to more important matters. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Alright, that's a good jump. Ten to go, this time by. Hmm. Gotta go up a little higher, see if we got some grip up here. Hold it together, field. That lap was a 25.3. I don't think we're going to catch him. I'm trying to drive hard. I don't know if I got it, though. Your best lap in this session. What we got up right here, if I try to do a cut down, nothing. I feel like I've killed the tires already. Man, these yellow flags. I at least want to try. I don't know if I have it, but I at least want to try. We're under caution. Pit's closed. I don't think that ends it. I think we're going to get a quick run to the end, which kind of stinks. I don't think anyone's going to be able to do anything. I might get my check out of this. With a quick run to the end, but. One turn has got an entire circuit. I don't think that's going to matter. Hey, one and four car. Looks like y'all got flat right fronts. You should it. Yeah, I should probably just take it off. No tires in the pits, but we can just, like, take it off and see how that works. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe get a picture guy like to sit on the uh, the inside back of the car and maybe help lift it up. Oh dang, I missed it. Sorry. I, it was a great idea though. I appreciate it. <laughs> you know, I bet you anything that brake rotor digs a whole lot harder than your tire does. <laughs> that could be a whole new sport. Hub racing. I mean, that's why you always, when you take the right front off, that's why it always goes towards the wall, right? Yeah, 16. Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. All right. Someone's a lucky dog. They're coming around. We will have another restart. I don't know how many laps we're going to get, but... Let the 16. Carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. We do have some, uh... 
cloud cover cooling the track down right now, it looks like. Got a bit of shade. Sun's going down. Don't know how much that's going to help us get some grip. Definitely, we're not going to be able to get past this guy, though. I don't think. Not with uh, the jump he's going to get on the start. We'd have to make that up and then yeah, find a way hurt. around. <clears throat> Just don't think that's, that's going to happen. These races for some people are like, you know, that time of the month at a convent, but I'm actually enjoying Focus myself. Yellow. Pits are open. Even if I do end up P2, even if I get P2, 4 earned it, he had a better uh, tire run. Earned the track position, and then uh, cautions to the end don't matter. He's got the spot. Aside from my dumb mistake, equal tires. I'll take this over the, uh, Five. Five to go. the A-class race. We're in a podium position. That's for sure. So it'll be a three-lap shootout to the end, looks like. Next flag would end it from there. Um, yeah. Other than the white, I guess. We I guess that's not, it's not like a green-white uh, checkered. 11 to 15 laps for the entire race. Point is, if we get a yellow, yeah, it ends. they think that you can fit a car four wide, you should just do it. I mean, you can't. I was trying to run that higher line, see if the track was cooler up there. It didn't really seem to be working, problem. unfortunately. They make that track wide for that reason, right? I mean, look what it did for Dan Weldon. Ooh, too soon. The I, last race I was in there, it, there's a crash that looked just like that, actually. I saw a car go airborne up into the tents, and it was Four course yellow, are open. All right, we will try to get as good a start as we can. I mean, first gear's not a thing, right? right? Like, like there's no way. We restart a little bit ago. Hopefully, it didn't screw yeah, anybody not. up. It's a second gear start. One left to green. But maybe I'd try something crazy. Because I don't think I have a shot otherwise. But that's just going to be worse. We just got to get right on his bumper, be ready to go. See what happens. Hopefully we get some space from the five if he continues having his shifting issues. They do green light checkers in this series or just regulation? Nah, yellow will end it. Cool. Keep that tree to... Show you the rules back then. What are you talking about? We got a green right checker right now. Kinda. Got three laps though. Interesting, we're going. Oh, no, nope, no, we don't. Get ready, going green. green. We're bottom. Stack it again. Green, green, white checker. Shit. Green flag, green flag. Sorry about the false start, I got jumpy. That stupid. Why are we so close to him? Please get to the wall. He's gotten to the wall. What flag? Stay smooth. That's just that higher line's not working, man. We will at least get to finish this lap. Okay, Colton, one more to go. Keep it together. Come we'll on, man, go around. I'm all over the place. Got wheel uh oh, there's some mess up ahead. There you go. I don't know why you had to cut so damn close. Good race, good win, man. Sorry again about the restart. Ugh, that was bad. All right, it's kick it flag. Good win, nice four. Good racing, sir. Appreciate the clean racing, man. Good race. 
Yeah, yeah, dude, you two, that was fun. Yeah, fun right, fun right. Oh, hopefully not, no, no one got to. There was a genius in the orange car that come back up and made us three wide and we just sandwiched off a of turn two. Sounds like there was a wreck in the last lap. Hopefully I didn't mess anyone up too bad. On the restart, I'm gonna look at that real quick. That's what I thought. Uh, where was it? Here. I know, I cheated that restart perfectly. Yes, he... <laughs> Okay, in my defense, he does kind of, like, turn left pretty hard right there. I thought he was going. Oh, uh, that was bad in that code, too. That sucked. Wasn't too bad, I guess. Franklin should just kept it down there, man. Yeah, see, that turn left, I thought, meant he was going. I'm really glad I didn't cause any sort of horrible stack up. Everyone was kind of ready for it, I guess. It was a weird restart in general, because he was starting in the middle of the track. I mean, he kind of drifted up the last second. <laughs> it was, it was kind of weird, because, you know, pace car goes off, he's in the middle of the track, and he's like, alright, now I'm going to go to the top and protect the top. And so, <laughs> he's like kind of swerving back and forth. Still here. Yeah. And then I was closer than I thought I would be. It was just a lot to ask to try to get around him. Like, I, I tried that higher line and it didn't work, but like, my other option was what? Just sit behind him, you know? I had to f try to find a different line. So I kind of like had middle here, cut down, and I, I get pretty close to his bumper. I wonder if maybe I could have like faked low and made him nervous. That might have been the play. See, so yeah, like I kind of try to hold it down low, hope he, hope he overdrives it, but he doesn't do it. He did a good job. Maybe I could have like faked low, made him think that I was going to be on his inside. But I, c I can't dive it in from there. That would uh, cause a wreck. I wasn't there, so... I think maybe what I could have done is pretend, make him nervous. Maybe he overdrives it, opens the door. Then he gets stuck on the outside in turn two. Maybe that's something I could have done. He gets the wall there. That got my hopes up a little bit more. And I'm like, well, last time it didn't work when I stayed low. So let me see if I can get a run up here. But it just it, it doesn't happen. Just not enough grip out there for that. But uh, it was a good battle. Uh, he earned it, like I said, getting a track position, getting to the lead on that long run, saving his tire better. We were 96-96 at the end. But uh, I think maybe I should have just... Maybe not gone all in on letting the right rear get worn on those longer runs, but maybe... Uh, just let it happen a little bit more and then uh, it probably would have just balanced out with how tight the car gets anyway so I don't know but P2 is still pretty good uh, I'm glad my dumb final restart didn't cause any major issues so uh, all right we will look at the results page now which is ready for viewing Two, there we go and it should be popping up now here we are 11 I rating gained um, in the 2013 strength of field. We get P2 and 113 championship points as the four got the win. We led the most laps, that's cool. And uh, you'd see through the field here, only eight cars on the lead lap. I didn't realize so many uh, had fallen back, but uh, there were some accidents. You can see actually quite a few of it, <laughs> quite a few incidents back there. And, uh, I guess uh, we'll go look at that. I kind of forgot to look at the incidents, didn't I? I did things out of order. But uh, we'll go back and look at that now. As always, that's weird. I do this so routinely that it's weird that I would do it out of order <laughs> accidentally. But we will go to lap one and take a look, see what happened. Uh, starting with the, the start here, where the five missed a uh, shift. See, I'm going there. I was struggling multiple times, having trouble getting it into gear. Guys on the inside can't uh, pass. 
or else they risk getting a black flag and guys being really aggressive cutting down low and <laughs> they're all just tripping over each other and I'm just driving away if it had gone green the whole way I think I have that just because of that huge advantage I get right there but we do have plenty more to see skip ahead try to avoid some of the wall hits because you know there's gonna be plenty of those like the uh, 17 there got some chrome chase Elliot and here's the 16 snapping loose putting a little bit too much gas into it on the exit and uh, rather than letting it spin down low he tries to correct it I guess and uh, unfortunately that puts it into the path of the 10 who is in the wrong place at the wrong time 15 able to split the middle and then it becomes uh, only a two car crash but uh, both of those guys got hit pretty good next up 12 in the wall maybe yeah gets a chunk of it moving along here could be a dangerous situation this car following behind the six looks like they figure it out though what we're doing there 10 gets a huge run on the 15 I can't tell who swerves where it looks like the 10 probably needed to give him a little more room but the 15 wasn't really holding that steady either neither of them were they both kind of went toward each other and uh, weren't and the 10 wasn't giving much room so they kind of bounced doors there I think he just Got to get a little more space, probably. And the 10 is going for a long slide. And KO's the wall. Whoa. Oh, what happened to Matthias here? This gets run over by the 5. Look at that. And that was right as the caution was coming out? Yeah, because the 10's already in his long slide. These were two separate incidents happening at the same time. Yeah, so it looks like the 6 is maybe getting tight on exit or just taking a really slow exit. And uh, Matthias doesn't want to run him over, because why would anyone do that? But the 5, unfortunately, wants to do that. <laughs> but not really. I'm sure it was an accident. But doesn't make any difference to Matthias he gets taken out and uh, that's a nose hit to the wall which is not gonna do good things for him yeah that's a blown motor that sucks he just gets run over 15 all wobbly this just starts with him maybe entering too hard losing the rear end and then once the tires are hot in this car it's very tough to hold on Uses the wall to keep it straight, but not what he wanted. Dale Earnhardt tapping the wall. Five following Dale Earnhardt and tapping the wall. Tapping? Tapping the wall. <laughs> Got a little bit of blink. Moving along. And, uh, ooh. Interesting. So it looks like if I could diagnose this one. Oh right. Okay, so these these guys aren't even on the same lap. This was irritating me a little bit. So this guy was just holding on to my outside for no reason. Uh because the guy behind him's not on the same lap. Guy in front of him's the leader. Like the, the guy up there isn't even on the same lap, so there's no reason to hold on to me like he's already in a position for the lucky dog. So, no reason right here not to just back off and uh, let me clear him, and then we can go continue going our full speeds. But instead, he holds on really tight to my outside, so I can't kind of drift up a little bit like you need to do at Dover and get a good exit to get the angle in the exit. And so instead, I have to hold it low. So, he has to hold it too wide, I have to hold it low. He's just making us both slower right here doesn't help anybody see I can't really clear him on the exit here so slow again letting the leader get away it doesn't end up mattering really 
he gets the lucky dog regardless, and uh, we get the yellow flag. So that distance doesn't matter, but it's it's pretty irritating, and he's only hurting himself too. I mean, he's trying so hard to hold onto my outside that he runs into the wall. Uh, I don't get that, but we figured it out. Oh, did it cause a wreck too? It did. It's him hitting the wall that makes the 15 check up, maybe? No, the 15 hits the wall, too. Everybody's hitting the wall because they've got to fight the leader so hard, I guess. I don't get it, man. Two's pretty far back at this point. You can just see how much slower we're going. I didn't even realize, but he, I mean, the three was gonna, or the two was gonna catch us because of how badly we were being held up. So the two's not wanting to be held up by lap traffic, cuts it as close as he can, but unfortunately that leaves no room for whenever the 15 makes a mistake. And uh, that really stinks for the guy that was in third place. Brings out a caution. So, I don't know man, I think if you're lap traffic there, like you see a guy coming up that quick, you take the high line, back off, let him cut under you, and there's really no reason not to do that. Because fighting side by side, trying to hold them off, d you know, doing whatever it is they were trying to do there. That's just hurting everybody and causing dangerous situations. So that's my evaluation. It's, you know, that's how I feel about it. Maybe it's not the definitive correct answer, but that's... Those are my thoughts. So the 14 drives in a little bit too hard, gets it sideways on entry. Maybe stab the brake a little bit too hard if he's got the brake bias a little bit too low. And he loses it all the way down to the grass down there and kills it. That's unfortunate. Brings out uh, the other quick caution, the 13, having some equipment failure it looks like. Oh boy, the 14 again. Things went south for him quick. He was actually having a pretty good run it looked like. And then that car just stepping out on, on him. Maybe the damage even causing some more issues for the handling. That's uh, yet another yellow flag. Oh man, what are we doing? That's pretty bad. So, looking at that... 12 fighting the 6 real hard for top 5. Looks like it starts... 12's a little bit too far down. He's, cutting, he's turning in way too early for a car being on his inside. And he drives in way too hard. Probably looking too much at the car on his inside than uh, the upcoming corner. So he gets sideways and he's losing it right now. He's got no control over it. But he gets control here. Now, what he chooses to do next is important. Because he's got cars flying up on him. He decides instead of uh, keeping it down on the apron where he can safely rejoin on the backstretch, he's going to come up onto the track with a two wide coming up right there and uh, fortunately netcode gets him but it looks like he's heading up to get him anyway because you know when you enter the track like that at that angle it's gonna drift up so causes a big mess gets himself involved in it and uh, we were at the white flag at that point I'm pretty sure so no caution And I think this is coming to the checkered. Oh my goodness. No, it's coming to the white flag. So they're still bouncing off of each other. The 16s. A lap down. <laughs> so this doesn't even matter. Oh, the 2 gets loose is what happens. 2 gets loose and slides up. And unfortunately, the 16 was right there. Guys just bouncing off of each other. At the end there. And uh, that was the final thing to see, so it got kind of messy, unfortunately, but thankfully we were able to stay out of it. And uh, one of four guys with the 0x, and uh, shout out to the four for being the other guy who gets the 0x and the win. He has, uh, he well earned, earned it, saved tires better than I did on the long run, got the track position, and got the win. And uh, runner-up's not so bad. We uh, got ourselves a minor I-rating gain, and I'll take it, so... Thank you for watching. I already showed the race results out of order for some reason. <laughs> That'll do it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.